anti-Semitism. The Labour Party is not riddled with anti-Semitism. Yes, there is a small and continuing problem that we have to deal with, and we will, because the code of conduct the NEC has drawn up is a sharp tool to deal with that. The IHRA definition is not. It's a blunt, woolly, ambiguous instrument that will not deal with anti-Semitism, will not produce lawyer-proof findings, and is a shibboleth. It's a way of displaying fealty to the Zionist and Israeli cause. And the Labour Party is correct to stand against it, because what we stand against is anti-Semitism and Israeli war crimes. The BBC will not put this whole debate in the context of Palestinian rights and freedom and justice for the people in the region. They say it's about personality. It's about people who can call the elected leader of our party a fucking anti-Semite and walk. It's about a BBC that says anyone who's been accused of anti-Semitism is guilty of anti-Semitism without need for proof or hearing. They take ideologues like the campaign against anti-Semitism, who are the campaign against Palestinian rights, who are the campaign against free speech, as authentic voices of I don't know what. There are many voices in the Jewish community. Jewish Voice for Labour is one. Independent Jewish Voices is another. Jewish Socialist Group is another. And are we invited in there, into the cold ditch of the BBC? No, because it's filled up. It's filled up with those people who only want to bring down the Labour Party, who want to stop us having a socialist government in this country. They are frightened of a Corbyn-led Labour Party, and they should be because we will attack their privilege, we will attack their bias, we will attack their coattailing upon Zionist ideologues. They are not fit for purpose, they are a shambles and a shame, and they have to be brought to account. Thank you. Who else feels they can shout today? Because I can't do it for very long.